Hi, in this video I will be introducing strange particles. Strange particles are those that have a property called strangeness and all strange particles must contain a strange quark. Strangeness is a quantum number that can only take certain values. It is conserved in all strong interactions. It's also conserved in some weak interactions such as beta decay, but not all weak interactions. Strange particles are created via the strong interaction in which strangeness must be conserved. So that means that strange particles must be created in pairs. For example, here we have two protons interacting to produce two protons and two kions, one positive and one negative. So if we check for conservation of strangeness, this is a, this is a strong interaction. Protons do not have any strangeness. So these all have a strangeness of zero. A K plus particle has a strangeness of one. And a K minus particle has a strangeness of minus one. Therefore, strangeness is conserved. Strange particles are formed by the strong interaction, but they decay by the weak interaction. And since strangeness is not always conserved in the weak interaction, it can change. It can change by zero, minus one, or plus one in weak interactions. For example, a negative kion particle decays into a muon plus an anti-mu neutrino. In terms of strangeness, a kion has a strangeness of minus one, a muon has a strangeness of zero, and an anti-mu neutrino also has a strangeness of zero. Remember that only particles containing a strange quark can have a strangeness, and since muons and neutrinos are, are leptons, they are not made of quarks, so cannot contain a strange quark. In this example here, the strangeness of the interaction has increased by one. This is only allowed in weak interactions. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, and visit cowanphysics.com.